Give me a corner piece. Ooh. Hi guys, thank you for watching my video. I'm so excited to film this for you today. Today, my mom is cooking one of my favorite Iranian dishes and I've been wanting to film a recipe for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's simple, it's so delicious. Is it simple, mom? No, it's not simple, apparently she's shaking her head. Okay, so it's not simple, but it's delicious, it's worth it. Here you go. So the night before, you're gonna have to get this mixture ready. Basically what you do is you cook chicken breast, you cut it up and you cook it into like bite-sized pieces, not too small though. And then you mix it with yogurt, uh, egg, saffron, which you can get at your local like international market or online or from your Persian friends. And then, what else mom? And then salt and pepper and you're gonna let this, mix it up and let it sit overnight. And then later on when the rice is done, I'm gonna show you guys how to lay it. And then that's pretty much it. And it's gonna be a delicious, delicious meal. Step one is to boil some rice. Use a little bit of turmeric a little bit of salt, and then you bring it to a boil, you just cook the rice like normal, Google it if you don't know how. And then when it's soft, you're gonna strain it and put it into the sink. We got our strainer ready. So we got the water nice and strained, and now she's filling up this bowl. After she drains it, she's gonna wash it with some hot water to get the salt off and to get it nice and soft. We're about to Put the attaching into the oven. So first thing we gotta do is put it on for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know the Celsius, Google it. So first you're gonna put oil down because the most important part of attaching is to have a nice crispy tatty on top, which is like crispy rice basically. And then you're gonna go in with one layer of the yogurt chicken mix. Just the yogurt this time, no chicken. It's important to take your time with this meal because if you don't, it'll become really just choppy and uneven. So you wanna take your time and really spread out the mixture. And then we're gonna go in with our first little bit of rice. You want to lay down that rice pretty thickly. And then put oil in between to make sure everything sticks. Add a little saffron in between for flavor and color. My mom's really pouring it on there. Oh, that's expensive. She's also going to pour a little bit of cinnamon in between. go in with another layer. Oh, now she's putting down the chicken pieces, specifically. Oh. And then, after all the rice has been laid down, you want to kind of make this little spot in the edge of the pan where you can fill it up with yogurt because you want the edge of the tashing to also be um, crispy and tatty So like you're seeing, my mom is pouring in all the leftover yogurt into the sides. So she put all the chicken down and then put another level of rice. And now she's crisping it up with the remaining yogurt. This recipe is a lot of work, but it is easy and I do think it's worth it. You just gotta put a little bit of love into it and then you'll get a delicious, delicious meal. And then any remainder of the yogurt and stuff that you have left, just kind of spread it on top of the whole mixture so it kind of soaks in and becomes delicious. And then to be pre precise, you want to clean up that yogurt because if you don't, 
it's gonna be super messy. And food is equally about presentation. Well, not equally, but presentation is almost as important as how good something tastes. So make sure you're presenting your food very well and clean and clean up all that extra yogurt. And then once that's done, you're gonna cover it with aluminum and you're gonna put it into the oven at 350 for three hours. And then the last 10 minutes, you're gonna uncover it and let it cook um, for 10 minutes uncovered to get everything nice and crispy. Here we go. So after three hours in the oven and 10 minutes of being toasted with no aluminum, this is the final beautiful product. Ah! You can top it off with a little bit of these dried, mom, what are these? Berries. Mulberries. Dried mulberries. So freaking delicious. Okay, can I cut a piece? Can you cut me a piece? Give me a corner piece. Ooh. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you try this recipe. It's so delicious. It takes a little bit of time, but it's pretty easy and it's definitely worth it. So thanks again for watching and I'm gonna go eat my incredible piece of packing. Bye!